to the prayer call. Can we begin to thank God and honor his name? Thank you, Lord, for your mercy. Thank you, Lord, for your kindness, for your love, for daily loading us with benefit, <clears throat> for the things you've done, for the things you are doing, and for the things you will do. We give you all the praise. We give you all the glory. There's no God like you. You are faithful. You are kind. You are merciful. Father, we give you praise, O oh God. Thank you, Jesus, for what you are doing right now. Thank you for the 40 days of decrease. Thank you for day one. Thank you for teaching us to lay ourselves on the altar. Thank you for bringing us to a consciousness of presence, experience, awe, and worship. Lord, may our sacrifices be acceptable to you. In the name of Jesus. Lord, thank you for our households. Thank you, Lord, for waking us up. Thank you for your mercy. Thank you for providing for us. Thank you for preserving us. Thank you for protecting us. Father, we give you all the praise, all the praise, all the praise, all the praise, all the praise. We honor you, O oh God. We worship you. Thank you, Jesus. Zeke ke tele magada diga diga disha dika ni bade eze de de baga tika ni made ke se ze prakuta la made ke de ke de ke de ke de ke de bado ju prata ke te ni bade ke de ke agu zanda la made ke ke tele bado shoto yo madiga Father we worship you we worship you we honor your name O oh God we give you praise we glorify you there is no God like you immortal invisible wise God the Almighty the God of all flesh. The powerful God, the unchanging God, the God that is the same yesterday, today, and forever. We bow before your throne, O oh God. 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 Ze katan le mege de, de katu labra di kasiga la mada. Jeke kete li katalega da geba de katayima gadeke se. Judah da bahanda lima kateke teli gado. Father, we worship you. Father, we worship you. Father, we worship you. Father, we worship you. We honor you, O oh God. No God is like you. Faithful, 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 powerful, able to do all things. We give you praise in the name of Jesus. My God and my King, the Almighty. We yield to you, O oh God. Through this time, we yield to you. We ask that you have your way. In the name of Jesus. Thank the Lord. Thank him. Thank him. Thank him. Thank him. Thank him. Yesterday we said that we will never lose our awe of him. Pray that prayer this morning. Thank you, Lord, for opening my eyes to see how wonderful God you are. And that, Lord, for bringing me to the consciousness of celebrating everything you do in my life, big or small. Lord, I bow before you. Thank you, Lord, for our victory list. For each and every one of them you are healing, we return the glory to you. In the name of Jesus, Father Lord, thank you for our victory list. 
zikata yimakate lege dege debo jupatu na miga de zekekeke teli kata liga liga la badu sakanda jepra dakata yemege dega du zagunda yimakata yiga dega liba da teke teke thank you Jesus thank you Jesus see what you have done oh God yekasi kalima de thank you Lord we declare concerning our victory list see what the Lord has done in the name of Jesus Lord thank you for our pregnant women. They carry to tempt, they bring to part, they bring forth effortlessly in the name of Jesus. Nothing is lacking, nothing is missing, nothing is broken, nothing is lost in the name of Jesus. Esheta lumadiga zigalagada eketeke makoso kotolo pati kateka yima kitelega zika liga 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 de ata tome ke kali kati lava duzenga la matusha jikaka tate mekete zekete le badu kati la miga diga 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 azam prato koto yoma kate zekeke la magadega gadega diga de badu Father thank you Father thank you Father thank you. Thank you, Lord, for our mature singles. Thank you, Lord, because they are bringing forth in the name of Jesus. Zeke la miga da gada, zege de boko toto yuba, jikanda la mage de gede gedege. Father, Lord, thank you for their spouses. We call them forth from wherever they are, oh God, in the name of Jesus. Bring them to the consciousness that they are keeping your sons and your daughters waiting. In the name of Jesus, Lord, we worship you. We honor you, oh God. Father, thank you because we can call upon you. Thank you because we can go with you. To you, oh God, be all the praise, all the glory, all the honor, all the adoration. Egele magade gade kateli magé akasuga li magé kete ke libra do zoko kuto keke ke lema jibra dadi katila migade gade egezeba du dede badega da mema gadi katayiga la gado jupra ta sege de ma ezeke ke leba digadi jupra tu sanda la magé kate yibado Father thank you thank you thank you thank you for your mercy O God we give you all the praise we give you all the praise we give you all the praise. Almighty God, we worship you. Zege de ge de ge de ge bagati kali makato. We honor your name. We glorify you. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Zeke teli madiga da ge ga da ge ga be katolima. Juprato sege le magadi kata. We give you all the praise, O God. We worship you. We honor you. We exalt you. We bow before your throne. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. This morning, we are going to pray and raise a standard against regrets. We want to pray and raise a standard against regret. You see, the things that happened in the past that brought us to places of regret, we may not be able to undo them, but we can pray going forward that our lives will not be lives that are regret reading. In the name of Jesus. Ega zikandali madeke teli gado gudo. Rakatolu gadege dega 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 dila mega de. Aga seke le magadi. Jekeke le badu katayima. Eze prato sondo. Father Lord, in the name of Jesus, my decisions in you from this moment will be stellar. I will not uh, make decisions that will bring me to regrets. In the name of Jesus, I pray for my household, oh God, for my husband, for my children. I pray, oh God, for the ministry, for the ministers, for the congregation, for everyone on CYM, for their families. In the name of Jesus, in the in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, our lives, oh God, will not be regret reading. E patu saluma dege, geseke teliga dagade, zepra dukata yenege gadoso, zuga limadiga di kataliga liga la bega geta to, zopeke kaluma kate kalika taliga liga liga dish, zebra de dade ne mehen deliba, 
Pray, brethren, pray, pray, pray. Say, Father, in the name of Jesus, my life, our lives will not be regret ridden. Kashu de 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 maga. Ezekele bakatu la miga de ga de kate. Uza kata ya mage de gabo. Zubra kuteka yima kise ke kaliga de. Dazada le mage da de ga de badu. Uba du kati ya maga de. Aga de katale de de gede. Ege se katolo mogo dogo doga di. Ebra diga dega 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 dagama. E kalamaga dege de. Gasu katali mage. Gasu kalama. Zekete liga. Joprodoko tolo madi. Jigala magiga gadege legega gaduka sulamide. Eje kaka la mage de gebo. Doto yu makikaka. Ege le make katali gadiga dega 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 de. Gasu kalu madega ga. Zupre katayu me. Keke telipa tali. I will not live a life that is regret living. Reading in the name of Jesus. Pray for your children. Declare it. Say our children will not regret, oh God, the decisions they're making in this moment. In the name of Jesus. Ezeka tayima kiseda, eze brado kusendele magadukate, e kalima hita liga 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 lagade, ege ne magoso kotolo, azigali bagotolo madika sika kata, e shete lebra dege de, Lord I pray for Kenichi today, his decisions today, oh God will not be regressed tomorrow, in the name of Jesus, Lord I pray for Chidi Abele, oh God, in the name of Jesus, her decisions today will not be regressed tomorrow, e kalima giza Lagade, Brosoko Tolu Madegede, Gasuga Limaga da Gega Degade, Gosondo, Godo Cateliba, Gaseke Teliga Degede Gade Bado, Goso Cotilla Miga Diga Dagade, Ege Seke Teliga Degade, Brasiga Lima Hantalege de Boto, O Cosodo Le Brigade, Ege Le Magete Kele Bradu Doto Yobra di Casica Lama, Ege de Gega Gadage de Gay, Igalo Madeke Seke Telima do Cosodo. Jigali gali gali gade 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 bodo e kase gali makataye zegele magada doko so Lord I pray for Joshua this morning in the name of Jesus his decisions today will not become regrets tomorrow brakata kete lima dika tila gida gade gade e kete liga da doko tolo brade e zegede de 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 mahandalika in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus my Father and my God I pray for for, for, for MM this morning. Father Lord, in the name of Jesus, his decisions today will not become regrets tomorrow. Bakate le mege dage, oko soko tolu madiga diga dage, e jekeke te li madege de, gasa katali gado, zubrege dega dega diga li magatu seke te li badiga dabama, eke seke te li brado ko sondo lumade, eke seke te li gede keka li magado, aga librara da dega da katu li magade, in the name of Jesus, in the Gata Liga Lagadege, Ege Seke Kele Magodo, Ege Seke Teli Made, E Kaluma Diga Diga Liga Dege Leva Doko Sogo, Ege Kanka Liga Tala Made, Aka Laka Tele Gebo Doko, Aga Sika Tali Madoko Soto Lobre Dege De, Aga Zigada Da Bakato Yu Madi, Zeke Teli Gade Kete Yi Brado, Aka Sigana Maga De Kete Ligada Gidaga, Aga seke te le gede gede gede. E ke te yi madida de ke te libra. A ka tu libra do ko sondo yu made. E ke te liga. Ze ke te libra tu ke te li madiga. E zende li ma to ko soto lubra de. Aga seke te le ma. Jibra do ko soko to luba digada. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Lord, I pray for the world, oh God. Every man, every woman, every child uh, is represented in that place and in that place. In the name of Jesus, I am declaring that, Lord, in your mercy, Father, Lord, their, their decisions today will not become regrets tomorrow. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Pray for yourself. Pray for your children. Pray for your household. Pray, 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 pray. Lord, we will not collectively as a household make a decision. 
Gata libra doko so. Baze keteli magade. Gasiga li magia kateli gade. Jokoto luma de kate. Zagadiga diga 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 li. Ege de baga da gaduma. Ege gelege gege de baga. Zugalu madiga diga diga deka. Gata tayi pata luma tika siga liga liga dika tu. Obra tu sende le negede. Gasaka tika yima kasiga. Jede de de bakata yi madu sukunda. Ebra tu saka tele negede gede. Gasaka te. Ege seke tele mato. Eze keta libra de kateli makata. Eje de 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 badikata lima gadeka. Ega zigala magede ge. E kata yi madege dega. Oso koto yu bradiga dima. Eje te keke ge 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 de ge. Gatula mi hindeli gada gade. Igali magata tu ya brado. In Jesus name. 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 Aza de bade kateli gagado. Father, thank you. Father, thank you. Eka seke teli made. Oko seka teli made gade. Na seke teli made. Zigali made gede kete kete. Zaga da gede kete kete li badu. Zubradika teka yima gadega. Deke te yima kusa katali gada gade. Jida da gade. Ege seke kaluma. Ege deba dekata. Jigala maga zekatu. In the name of Jesus. Our decisions today will not become regress tomorrow. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen and amen. Bahu tele mega davida go. E kaseka tele madiga de. I want us to pray this morning. I want us to pray for our leaders. I want us to decree and declare their decisions today. La calebra de kasuga lima de. Their decisions today. Oko sodo luma diga de. We now become regrets for the populace tomorrow. In the name of Jesus. Every day. Decision they make today will pass the test of integrity in the fullness of time. In the name of Jesus, every decision they make today will pass the test of love. In the name of Jesus, every decision they make today concerning the people that they lead, in the name of Jesus, will pass the test, oh God, of, of moral authority. In the name of Jesus, Dega zekata yu madikata abra zondo le mega diga la giga liga 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 agada badeke tele madoso konda ijeke kakata li maga dege le badoko sondo lubede in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus our leaders will make stellar decisions today they receive wisdom in the name of Jesus they have knowledge in the name of Jesus they have understanding in the name of Jesus they have courage and boldness in the name of Jesus, every decision that our leaders will make today, whether in the US, whether in Ukraine, whether in Russia, whether in Nigeria, whether in Ghana, whether in the United Kingdom, whether in the United States, wherever, oh God, upon the face of the earth, that men will make the decisions that will affect other people. Father, Lord, their decisions will pass, oh God, the test of moral authority. In the name of Jesus, there will be no regrets, oh God. There will be no regrets, oh God. There will be no regrets, oh God, in the name of Jesus. And Lord, on the global um, stage and on national platforms, every every um, decision that has tended to a regret already, Father, Lord, grant the leaders courage to rescind them in the name of Jesus. Legenda de Abadu Seketelima di Kata Yigada, El Kalima de Kazegebo Doka, Egelemadu to Tuba Diga Diga Lima de, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, Zebra da 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 that is tended to regret. Father Lord, in the name of Jesus, may I be big enough to rescind it. Where sorry is, 
uh, an apology is what is meet. Father, may I be able to tender it in the name of Jesus. May my pride not get in the way, oh God, of repairing what can be repaired in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I'm praying for myself. Will you pray for you? That's the kanda yemegedaku izaki talima dika shikata eje dege badoko tonu mandi gadiga dege brazike teye madoko sonda eze bratika tila migade in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. The Bible says the children at uh, the fathers at sour grape and the children's teeth were set on urge. In another place, no longer where the children have to pay for the sins of their father because love will be multiplied to a thousand generations. I want you to pray that for everything today you suffer that was as a result of a decision or a choice your parents made that the Lord should bring you out of that bondage in the name of Jesus. Those things that they say they can trace to bloodlines, those things that they say they can trace to ancestral paths in the name of Jesus, I decree and declare that I take my inheritance from Jesus. I and my household, we take our inheritance from Jesus. We take our inheritance from Jesus. Therefore, in the name name of Jesus, every decision, every decision, every decision, every choice, every, um, choice to worship something that was made in the in the life past or in the in, in, in seasons past that are impacting upon my journey negatively i cut myself from under it in the name of jesus i nullify its hold oh god in the name of jesus jesus went to the cross and he declared that it was finished father in the name of jesus i decree and i declare that it is finished concerning me oh god God, I no longer bear the burdens of my forefathers in the name of Jesus. The word of God tells me that he whom the son is set free, he is free indeed. Therefore, every ancestral trap, I kept myself loose in the name of Jesus. I release the blood of Jesus against it. I circles. I cut you forth. I cut you loose. In the name of Jesus, I declare freedom. The Bible says that the snare is broken. It says the prey of the mighty shall be delivered and the lawful captive shall be set free. Pray for yourself. Pray for yourself. Pray for your household. Say, my father, my father, in the name of Jesus. My father, my father, in the name of Jesus. Every inherited problem, every inherited trait that keeps me locked up in bondage, that keeps me in stagnation, that keeps me in a small place. My father and my God, I renounce today. I, like I said before, I take my heritage from Jesus this morning. In the name of Jesus. He says he has so named us by himself. Our names are written in the palm of his hand. Therefore, Lord, I cut myself out of everything that exists in the Adesulaya bloodline that does not glorify your name. In the name of Jesus, I cut my brothers, I cut my sisters loose of everything in their disloyal bloodline that does not glorify your name. In the name of Jesus, in the same vein, oh God, I cut myself loose from anything in the Mordi bloodline that does not glorify your name. Kashu Talimade, I cut Mark loose, I cut my children loose from everything out of these two bloodlines that do not bring glory to your name. Everything out of these two bloodlines that keep people stagnated. Everything out of these two bloodlines that keep people small. I declare, see what the Lord has done. He set us free and we are free indeed. I declare, see what the Lord has done. He set us free and we are free indeed. I declare, see what the Lord has done. He set us free and we are free indeed. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, I want you to pray concerning. I want you to pray concerning the nation of Nigeria. I want you to come to God and say, Lord, everything in our foundation 
that seeks to hold us in perpetual darkness. Everything in our, self, in our foundation that seeks to make evil thrive. In the name of Jesus, today, oh God, we collapse that inheritance. We refuse it. We renounce it. We no longer take it. Jesus, 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 Jesus. Jesus, 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 Jesus. Jesus, 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 Jesus. Jesus, 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 Jesus. Your word says that a nation can be born in one day. Father Lord, we deliver Nigeria today, oh God, from everything as sensual, for everything in the bloodline, from everything foundational that seeks to hold us down. In the name of Jesus, we cut ourselves loose. Brazi katele mega dagade. Agazika ta yemege delega dega dagutu. O brazi kinda yemege dade. Eketele badigazi gali maga dega de. In the name of Jesus. 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 Again, your word says that he whom the son is set free, he is free indeed. Father Lord, every bondage situation represented on this call this morning, we caught ourselves loose in Jesus' mighty name. We're going to use the next few minutes to let you pray and intercede or ask for inter uh, intercession concerning healings, concerning whatever it is, approve us that are outstanding. I'll pray in the spirit with you. You by yourself begin to speak to God. Father Lord, I align and I agree with everyone whose prayer, oh God, is aligned with your will this morning. In the name of Jesus. Brazi kanda le nege da gege de badu tati. Ete ni manga diga da gega ga de kato. Eche ke tele brada da gega da gadu madika si da liga. Ega li mage ke ke kato. Ege le baga zika ta ye manga de lege da. Uje de de baga de kata ye magiga luka to lege. Ega la mahanda. Eze batu soto. Eze badika ta ye magida liga liga liga. Ege ne maga tu sege lege gege. Aje te te ye makatula bados. Zebra ga kakama hinda liga. Also patoko shoto lomege agaluma dika dila dika dika Diga diga diga, isamprata le megede, egele bago zaga da buto soba, egele mageka katulu gade, zebra daga dege 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 dega du, jeka tali madega de, ezebra du sanda le meketeka, ukata libra du sondo le mede, Father Lord, yes and amen. We will declare, oh God, our song will be, see what the Lord has done. Concerning all the prayer points, oh God, our song will be, see what the Lord has done. Ega zebra da. Our song will be, see what the Lord has done. Our song will be, see what the Lord has done. Our song will be, see what the Lord has done. Our song will be, see what the Lord has done. Our song will be, <clears throat> See what the Lord has done. Our song will be, see what the Lord has done. Our song will be, 
See what the Lord has done. Ezekele madika tayiga liga la dame. Jebra do doko so do lu madika tika yika tayiga. Ezeke tale megede bados. Zubra dege dege de. Thank you, Lord, for people rising out of their sick beds this morning. Thank you for surgeries going well this morning. In the name of Jesus, thank you for a release of funding this morning. Thank you, Lord, for grants that are coming through this morning. Thank you, Lord, for visa approvals that are coming through this morning. Thank you for confirmed appointments this morning. Is that they bradoko so do my day? Thank you for employment letters this morning. Zege de bakatula mega diga day. Thank you for journey messages this morning. Ega zika le megeda do. Father Lord, thank you. 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 As we begin to declare with this morning that Nigeria is working. Declare with me this morning, 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 Nigeria is working. Yes, sir, Nigeria is working. Lord, we are grateful because Nigeria is working. Father, we are grateful because Nigeria is working. Lord, we are grateful because Nigeria is working. Thank you, sir. Thank you for answers, oh God. Thank you because our songs will be, our song will be, see what the Lord has done. Thank you because our song will be, See what the Lord has done. Our song will be, see what the Lord has done. Father, we worship you. Father, we worship you. Father, we worship you. Father, we worship you. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen and amen and amen. Father, thank you. Father, thank you. Father, thank you. We give you all the praise. In Jesus' mighty name, amen and amen. Good morning, everyone. Welcome to the prayer call. Have you shared the link yet? If you've shared the link, I'm grateful. If you're yet to share the link, please share the link. May God be kind to you in Jesus' name. Share the link, please. God bless you. Yesterday, we started the 40 days of decree. So today is day number two. And today, we say no to regret. We say no to regret. We say no to regret. Alicia writes, she says, Lent is a much needed mentor in an age obsessed with visible, measurable, manageable, and tweetable increase. For it invites us to walk with Jesus and his disciples through darker seasons that, would rather, that we would rather avoid grief, conflict, misunderstanding, betrayal, restriction, rejection, and pain. These are all the things that Jesus went through. And at part of our exercise during these 40 days of decrease is to walk with Jesus, walk those paths with Jesus and feel how he felt and recognize that there is nothing under the sun that has happened to us that is new. There is nothing that has happened to you that is new. There is nothing that is happening right now that is new. There is nothing that is going to happen that will be new. Jesus has been there, done that, bought the t-shirt, and he still went ahead and saved us. So there is nothing that is new under the sun. What that means is if Jesus felt pain, sometimes our decisions may bring us to pain. Can we choose to go through with joy in our hearts. Remember what we talked about yesterday, surrendering ourselves to Jesus. To say, Lord, I am the sacrifice. Lord, I am the sacrifice. I am the sacrifice. If Jesus who commands the winds and waves allows himself to be arrested, Jesus who best the brightest Pharisees and Sadducees refuses to defend himself when falsely accused, if Jesus, who raised others from the dead, chooses not to save himself, what you will find on Jesus' journey crossword is that, and the disciples' illusions of what Jesus should have done or should have, or ought to have done or didn't do, what you would learn, if there's one lesson you will learn, it is the fact that life happens. Life happens. And rather than allow regret tie you down, you ought to get up and continue to move. In 2 Kings chapter 6, we see the account of the ladies who agreed to eat their children because a famine was in the land. And in the end, 
the Bible says that um, in verse 26, in verse 25, it says, um, and there was a great famine in Samaria and besieged and Samaria and, bes and behold, they besieged it until an ass's head was sold for four score pieces of silver and the fourth part of a cab of dove's dung for five pieces of silver. And as the king of Israel was passing by the wall, there cried a woman unto him saying, help my Lord, O king. And he said, if the Lord do not help thee, when shall I help thee? Out of the barn floor, or out of the wine press. <coughs> and the king said to her, what ailed thee? And she answered, this woman said unto me, give me, give thy son that we may eat him today. I will eat my son tomorrow. So we boiled my son and did eat him. And I said to, unto her the next day, give thy son that we may eat him. And she had hid her son. Her son. That's one decision this mother will regret for the rest of her life. It is one decision that this woman will regret for the rest of her life. She allowed the pressure of the moment bring her to the place where she made an irrational decision. <clears throat> and now that decision has come to bite because the other woman had reneged on her promise. And sometimes we make decisions and down the line we realize we shouldn't have made those decisions. If we had waited 10 minutes more, if we had waited one day longer, if we had decided if we had just calmed ourselves down and did not act in, with emotion, we would not have found ourselves where we are. We shot those that were not meant to be shot because we were emotional about the things that were going on around us. And now we sit here and we're twiddling our fingers because it is regretful. But what will you do about it? Unfortunately, concerning this woman's decision, there was nothing the king could do to make it better. There was nothing the king could do to make it better. But the point is, even when you make decisions that make you regret, or even when things happen to you, let's even say it's not your decision. Let's say even when things happen to you, that you could have done something in that moment that you didn't do, and now you regret. What will you do? Will you submit to God and recognize that because Jesus is Lord over your life, According to Romans chapter 8, all things can work together for the good of them that love God and are called according to his purpose. It might have, been, might have been a mistake to someone or from someone, it might have even been your mistake, but God can take it and flip it and use it. God can take it, flip it and use it. God can take it, flip it and use it. We need to come to the point where we see that when we try to self-preserve, 95% of the time, we self-preserve for our own sake. It is rare that people who follow Jesus self-preserve and say, I'm self-preserving for Jesus. Every time we self-preserve, we are the ones on the throne. Every time we self-preserve, we are the ones on the throne. Every time we self-preserve, we are the ones on the throne. You find yourself trying to save yourself from what? But the reality is, some of these things is how God teaches us. Some of these things is how God processes us. Some of these things is how God makes us ready for where we are going. Jesus gave himself. He said, I will go and die. What if, at the, in fact, at the end of the day, we found him in Gethsemane. He was at that point where regret was on this on the on, in the in, in, in the in the terrain. And regret was saying to him, renounce this and go back to, to heaven. After all, that's where you belong. You didn't sin. But Jesus made a choice, a choice to love rather than to love, love as God would love, rather than to love as man would love. When you find yourself in a place of regret, what usually happens is that you have made a massive mistake. You have made a massive mistake. But what if you allow God to take that mistake and use it for his glory? In his book, The Four Degrees of Love, there are four different things that we need to use. In the book, um, 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 four things that, um, um, four degrees of love that have been spread, that they say is the way that men love. 
The first degree of love is love of self for the sake of self. Love of self for the sake of self. Excessive. This time, this when you love for the sake of self, you are excessive. You are lost in. We, 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 rather than love our neighbors, rather than be the ones that will pour ourselves out, when we love for the of, of love self for the sake of self, we put everyone as at our per, at a peril. We put everyone, everyone exists so that we can self preserve. The second degree of love is love for God for self sake. We say we love God, but really we love God out of what we can get out of him. If we received a memo today that God, a memo today that God no longer does anything for anybody, most of us will stop to follow. That is the second degree of love. The third degree of love is love of God for God's sake. We love God because we are afraid that if we don't love him, he will punish us. We love him because, well, if I don't love God, what kind of, I don't know what God is going to say to me. So even though I don't feel like loving God right now, I'm compelled to love God. A love that is coerced is not love because love has to be given freely. The fourth degree of love is love, is love of self for God's sake. Love of self for God's sake. You don't hate yourself. You don't put yourself down and decide nothing is good in your life simply because you want to prove to God that you love him. You love yourself even as you love God because you recognize that the love you have in your heart, even for starters, is a love that had been given to you by God. The Bible says that God has shared his love abroad in our hearts. If you look at Deuteronomy chapter 6, verse number 5, and Luke chapter 10, 27, it's the Shema. That's how we close our services at the well. We say, I will love the Lord my God with all my heart, with all my soul, with all my mind, and with all my strength. And I will love my neighbor as myself. This is holistic love. You don't cut yourself out just because you want to love. Neither do you cut others out because you love yourself. And you definitely do not love God to the detriment of yourself and your neighbor. It's holistic. It's how God chooses that we should love. When we love like this, what happens is we find ourselves having less and less and less to regret. Alicia says regret empties anticipation. Pay attention to this. Regret and empties anticipation. It means that once you live a life of regret, you'll find yourself never looking forward to anything. Alicia says regret flattens dreams. It means that when you live a life of regret, what should have, could have, would have been, when that is your language persistently, you cannot dream a dream that takes off. Your dreams are flattened even before they, they are burned because you are living a life of regret. Alicia says that regret suffocates hope. It means that once your life is full of regret, I should not have married that man. If I had married someone else, my life would have been better. But you are in the marriage now. It means that because of that, you can never hope that the marriage will get better. So therefore, you don't do the work that everyone else puts in their marriage to work. Because some of us think that what makes marriage work is I love you, I love you. I wish. That's not what makes marriage work. Marriage is a consistent condescending on the side of one, on, on one person's side, on the other or person's side to make room for the other. So therefore, if you live a life of regret consistently, it will suffocate hope out of you and inability to think that God could ever do anything for you again. Regret, she says, because regret is a form of self-punishment. Regret is a form of self-punishment. Every time we live lives of regret, that's not what God expects of us. What God expects of us is to learn lessons by benefit of hindsight. When you learn by benefit of hindsight, what is it that it takes away, you know, it gives you lessons from your past that you can deploy in your presence, in your present so that you can have a better future. Regret beats up the past. That's what Alicia said. It beats up the past rather than learns from the past. So I know today that you have things you regret. I should have gone to school when they told me to go to school. I should have finished my school and gotten a job before I got married. See, now I have a half degree and the man wouldn't let me do anything. And he's not providing for me. 
I shouldn't have married that woman because whatever your regret looks like, the thing is, you do not have the capacity and I do not have the capacity to go to my past and change it. But I can make a commitment today that the lessons of my past will be useful for my future. When people say to me, especially those who went to school with me, I say, ah, I hear you, I passed on now. I usually will say to them, now so myself, see, I'm, I'm not going to let my life. In the days of stupidity, ruin what I can have with God today and what my future is shaping up to be. We can't afford to live life by regret. So today, what are we fasting? We are fasting regret. We're saying, Lord, every decision that I made in my past that made me think less of myself, that made, makes me think that you can never love me enough to be able to give me the vistas that everyone is shouting for. Everything that I regret in my life that has robbed me of the capacity to declare, see what the Lord has done. I renounce it today. Lord, I repent for the bad decisions, but today I come to you, oh God. And it's because your word says in 2 Corinthians chapter 5, that when, if any man be in Christ is a new creature, all things are passed away. Behold, all things have become new. I declare that I'm new in your sight. Therefore, I embrace newness this morning in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, Lamentations chapter 3, verse number 23. God's mercies are new every morning. He makes all things beautiful in his own time. So yes, you didn't make the right decision in the beginning. I made a less than stellar decision at some point. I can repair because I still have life. I may not be able to go back to that particular moment, but I can make a decision today to take that lesson and release that lesson into every other decision that I'm making as I go on. As we close, I want us to go to John chapter 12. John chapter 12, we'll read verse 12 to 19. John chapter 12, verse 12 to 19. It says, on the next day, much people that were come to the feast, when they heard that Jesus was coming to Jerusalem, took branches of palm trees and went forth and to meet him and cried, Hosanna, 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 blessed is the king of Israel that cometh in the name of the Lord. And Jesus, when he had found a young ass, as sat thereon as it is written, Fear not, daughter of Zion, behold thy king cometh, sitting on an ass's court. These things understood not his disciples at first. But when Jesus was glorified, then remembered they that these things were written of him and that they had done these things unto him. The people, therefore, that were with him when he called Lazarus out of his grave and raised him from the dead, bear record. For this cause, the people also met him, for, they, for, for that they heard that he had done these miracles. The Pharisees, therefore, said among themselves, Perceive ye how ye prevail nothing. Behold, the word is gone after him. Jesus came doing good. Yesterday, I mentioned to us that Lazarus had to die so that men could come and see him as a miracle. And so that by his, the miracle that God wrought with him, men could give their lives to Jesus. Others have been telling the testimony. And as people kept telling the testimony of how Jesus raised Lazarus from the dead, the crowd continued to swear. Lazarus could have regretted falling ill. Rather, Ross could have regretted dying if it was possible to regret after you died. But see what the Lord has done with what looked like it was a failure three days or four days after his death. See what the Lord has done. Our experiences are where and are not a surprise to God. Everything that you and me have had to go through, we go through, are going to go through. Brethren, in the name of Jesus, these things do not come from God, uh, as a surprise to God. He may not have ordained them, but he knew about them and he allowed them. 
Here's how my mind works when it comes to the issue of regret. If God can knows the end of a thing from the beginning, and he did not change the circumstance that he allowed me to go through, I usually would just come in and I'll say, Lord, put me in the glory press. I want to see how you can use this. I want to see how you can use this. You have to use it. Let it not be in vain. Fulfillment and glory is what God is always gunning for. So when he allows you to go through stuff that is not palatable, even though you are in him and he could have changed it and he did not change it, it is because he's enlisted you in the glory press. The devil may be the one doing the thing to you, but God has decided to take it and use it for his glory. So you can't sit there and continue to regret that you had a baby outside wedlock. You can't begin to regret that you had a baby when you were 18. You can't begin to hold it against the child. You can't cut your life short because that happened. Wake up. You have repented. Move on. God is not holding it against you. In the movement of the triumphant entry, the people saw a king. Popularity came. Yet this glorious moment wasn't the culmination of Jesus' assignment. Everybody loved the fact that as Jesus came into Jerusalem riding on that cult, they were throwing things down. They were singing. Everybody, they had their clothes and pan fronts down because they wanted him to ride in like a king. But Jesus knew that this was not the moment. The moment that was the moment for Jesus was the moment that he'll be hanging on the cross. The moment that was the moment for Jesus was the moment that he'll be buried in a borrowed tomb. The moment that was the moment for Jesus is the moment that he would resurrect so that he can take away the keys of hell and death from the devil. The people wanted a king. He knew he was a savior. He was a lamb that was being led to slaughter. Everyone, the world celebrates the things that they think they should celebrate. But as believers, we can't crave celebration to the detriment of the assignments that God has called us to. A, every glorious moment is fantastic, but you need to recognize that the behind the scenes that brings us to glorious moments are the most important part of that journey in God. They are the most important part of that journey in God. So today you may be living a life where everything is peppered with a, a, a his and a sigh. Because when you think about your life, you're thinking, if I could go back 25 years, if I could go back 10 years, if I could go back 30 years, perhaps my life will be different. I get it. There are places I would have loved to be able to go back to, to so that I can repair the things that I broke. But brethren, life is not configured like that. And yet don't, God doesn't want us to live in regret. Today's the day that we say, Lord, I repent for whatever. But I'm no longer going to wear ash clothes, ash clothes or um, ash, um, sack clothes all the days of my life. I'm arising. I'm asking that you anoint my head with oil. I want to go forth and do the things that you've called me to. I read a book a long time ago. And in that book, it said, it says, do not put, I think it was in Visionary by Andy Stanley. He said, do not put a full stop where God put a comma. A comma is indicative of the fact that the conversation will continue. A full stop is indicative of the fact that it is done. Your life, even though it has been tripped in this season, is not a full stop. You have breath, you have life, you have Christ. That's all you need to cook up a storm again. That's all you need to make impact again. That's all you need to grow into whoever God has called you to again. Brethren, we must not allow a comma become a full stop. So for whatever your regret is today, can I, in the office that God has called me to over you this morning, release you from regrets? In the name of Jesus, what is done is done. I release you from regrets. If there are ways you can repair, please go ahead and repair. If it's something that you absolutely cannot repair, Brethren, move on and let God be your defense every single day in the name of Jesus. Lord, we come, oh God, 
to say we can no longer live under the, 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 the bondage of, of regret. We can no longer live in places where we cannot anticipate you. We can no longer live in territories where our dreams are flattened. We can no longer live in places where our hope is choked out of us. We can no longer live in places where regret is beating up our past. We step up this money. We refuse to self-punish any longer. We hold on to you. Have mercy on us. Lord, move us forward and let your name be glorified in the name of Jesus. If you're on this prayer call and you are yet to give your life to Jesus, please give your life to Jesus. Say with me, Lord Jesus, I give you my life. Type it in the comments. Say, Lord Jesus, I give you my life. Say with me, Lord Jesus, I give you my life. And if you have given your life to Jesus, reach out to us in 08090563555 and say, I gave my life to Jesus. They will tell you the next thing that you ought to do. Remember that the Hearing God Masterclass registration is open. So if you want to do that masterclass with me, you need to reach out to the same telephone number, 08090563555 and reserve your slot. It's 15,000, and if you do early bread, it is 10,000. Early bread expires on the 15th of March, and then um, the, 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 the masterclass we hold on the 25th of March. Remember that this is a season where Lord says that we should embrace knowledge. So get all the knowledge that you can get. All of you that keep asking me, how do I hear God? This is your opportunity to come into the room with me and other people and learn how to hear God for yourself. I hope you will take advantage of it in the name of Jesus. As all of you know, the masterclass is the cheapest thing that I do. And while we are at it, I, I'm calling again on the leaders who ought to be doing lead, Wisdom Wells leader, um, leader School with me. If you want to learn leadership and enhance your leadership the way Jesus did it, then you want to enroll for Wisdom Wells Leader School. Thank you so much for joining the prayer call this morning. Continue to pray for us concerning the UK retreat, that the name of the Lord will be glorified, that Jesus would be in that room even before we get there, that when the women come one way, they will go out the other, trans other way transformed in the name of Jesus. Thank you so much for joining the prayer call this morning. I'll see you tomorrow morning if Jesus starts. Remember, we must live lives of no regret. Regret will suffocate hope out of you. May that not be your portion in Jesus' name. Thank you again. I'll see you tomorrow morning if Jesus tarries. God bless you and bye-bye.